Hey, Bob Stoffer from the Edmonton Oilers Radio Network, and we're joined by uh, one of the owners of the Oklahoma City Barons, Bob Funk Jr. And Bob, let me just uh, ask you, you're here at the NHL draft, obviously very excited to, to have a relationship with the Edmonton Oilers uh, organization. What's, uh, what's it been like so far for you? Well, you know, it's been a great uh, experience. It's been good to be here, get to see, uh, you know, the, the overall process for us and for our fans in Oklahoma City uh, to help educate them as to what they're going to see in Oklahoma City uh, when uh, when the when the season comes along. So it's been it's been great to see the strategy behind uh, what Edmonton's trying to do and building their program. And and today will be of interest, really of interest to me because I think I'll get to see a lot of uh, the players that'll be coming to Oklahoma City uh, during the process. Well, there's a definite possibility that rounds two, two through six, you know, two through seven. A lot of the kids do end up going to the American Hockey right. League on their sojourn, hopefully to the National Hockey League. Uh, Oklahoma City's been a great hockey city for a long time. It was the best CHL market for a number of years. Uh, American Hockey League is obviously, you know, uh, the joke was the CHL was the Jules Verne League. It was 20,000 leagues under the NHL. Well, the AHL is just one league under the NHL. You guys got to be stoked and pumped up about being involved with an AHL partnership. Uh, uh, we're extremely excited. You know, uh, our partnership with Edmonton uh, is going to be a, a good opportunity for uh, not just Edmonton but Oklahoma City as well. We're, uh, you know, becoming a, a major market uh, finally from the sports perspective. We have an NBA team now uh, there now, and uh, now an AHL franchise that's located there. And I think the fans are going to be really uh, surprised. I think they all understand that it's a, a higher level of hockey, but I, until they see it on the ice, I don't think they're really going to. It's really going to set in with them as to just how. How, uh, how talented these gentlemen really are and the professional level that they play at just, just underneath the NHL. Certainly during the 1930s, there may have been some similarities between the province, you know, the prairies out west, Alberta and Saskatchewan, and maybe what people in Oklahoma were going through. Do you think there's a bit of a kinship for, from Edmonton to Oklahoma City? Because I think there's a very similar sort of philosophy amongst the citizens and a recognition of hard work and, you know, getting out of business and those sort of things. Does that make it a good fit for Edmonton and Oklahoma City? Absolutely. Uh, it's, uh, it's a fantastic city uh, comparing to Edmonton, Edmonton to Oklahoma City. The synergies are are so apparent on multiple levels, not just with the the culture, uh, but the the operations themselves in terms of Edmonton and our operation. They're very similar in how we how we operate ourselves. Uh, so yeah, I think from the from the from the aspect of the culture of the people that work there, the hardworking aspect, people who recognize hard work, who like to work hard and like to play hard as well. Uh, I think uh, it's going to be very evident between the two cultures as to how similar they really are. Bob, what are we looking at in terms of, uh, you know, in terms of the amount of people that live in uh, the greater Oklahoma City area? It's uh, just over 1.1 uh, million. Uh, and the city leaders have been very progressive in the last 10 years to really bring Oklahoma City into the 21st century and doing a lot of things in the downtown area uh, and reinvesting in themselves. It was absolutely crucial that Oklahoma City do that. The citizens came, uh, stepped up to the plate and have done a lot in terms of building sports facilities and, and a lot of uh, attracting new business into Oklahoma City. It's been, it's been a amazing process for us and have been a big part of bringing the AHL to Oklahoma City at the same time. So I think, uh, you know, I, I think we'll uh, the players will get to see a, uh, a very, a lot, they'll be very similar to what they're going to see in Edmonton, and hopefully we can make it a synonymous transition uh, when they get to Oklahoma City, and then hopefully called up to the NHL. And this won't be an uh, inexpensive uh, proposition for you guys. I mean, Oklahoma City is going to have some challenges in terms of traveling around the American Hockey League that might add some costs as opposed to maybe what was experienced uh, in the Eastern Conference with organizations like Springfield or Syracuse. Right. No, absolutely, and we're we're prepared for that. That, but at the same time, it'll be good to get other cities in Oklahoma City uh, to kind of see what we're all about. I think a lot of people still have this image that all we do is, you know, we're we're cowboys and we ride horses around. Well, we're a much a much more cosmopolitan city in the, a city than that, and, and uh, I think people will be pleasant, pleasantly surprised when they come to Oklahoma City. Bob, thanks a lot for joining us. I appreciate it. Thank you very much.